Kraken. Hey guys, it's Ava, and pretty soon I am going to be on an airplane going to Europe. I know I've talked to you guys about it way too much, but I feel like this video kind of makes sense. So a lot of you guys have been asking me to do videos on traveling, so I decided to do an airplane or just a travel video for you guys. So for today's video, I'm going to show you guys a quick and easy hair, makeup, outfit, and some tips and tricks on how to travel. This video can basically work all the way from going on an airplane to going on a car ride to waking up in the morning and just having a quick and easy look for school. So before I start this video, for a lot of you guys that are like, Ava, why would you wear makeup on an airplane? For a lot of people, traveling means you guys get to see a loved one, like a family member or a boyfriend or girlfriend or a dog on the other side of the terminal or waiting for you wherever you go. So I think if you guys want to look presentable when you go and see them for the first time in a while, it should make sense that you should be able to. So yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So first, I'm starting off with my makeup look, and this is just a super simple makeup tutorial that'll help you look healthier and more awake. So first, I'm starting off by energizing my skin by rubbing it with a clean and clear facial wipe. Next, I'm gonna quickly cover my dark circles in just a few of my most prominent acne scars. I think foundation can get a little clunky on the airplane, but concealer, you don't really feel it too much, and it helps a lot. To set the concealer, I'm using a powder foundation. This is going to give me some coverage and also give me a little bit more of a not shiny effect on my face. Now if you need to do your eyebrows, go ahead and do those. For a quick and easy way to bring color into your face, products like these are perfect. What this is is a cheek and a lip tint, so you guys can use it on your cheeks and then use the extra on your lips and it's just going to give you this really, really pretty rosy effect. It's going to look really natural. Also, you guys can do this in the car and it doesn't take much blending with a mirror, so this is a really good product to have. So I'm just going to rub that on my lips and my cheeks and it's just going to give me a really, really nice healthy effect. My voice is so weird right now. So now on to the eyes. If you guys have a little bit of extra time on the airplane or in the car ride, you guys can take one of these chubby shadow pencils from NYX. My voice just kind of like little book. But yeah, these are from NYX and I'm just going to put this on my eye. It's going to make me look very awake. If you guys want to look even more awake and have huge pretty eyes, you guys can use a liquid liner and give yourself a little bit of a wing. Last but not least, I'm just finishing off with some mascara because you can't forget the mascara if you're going to do the liner, guys. Now I'm saying, mm-hmm. After you do that, you are done with your makeup look, and now you look very beautiful and radiant and just amazing. Well, you guys were already beautiful to begin with. I don't even know what I'm saying. You're over my now onto the hair. A ponytail is a go-to style for me. I always wear my hair in a ponytail. So first, I'm just going to start by brushing through my hair. I actually curled my hair the night before, so my hair has this really pretty wave to it. So if you guys want to curl your hair the night before, great idea. Next, I'm going to take some dry shampoo and fluff that through my ponytail to give it a little bit more of a volume and like a teased look. Anything for you to notice, all the way to After that, I'm just going to stick a beaded headband through my hair. And a beaded headband you guys can get at Claire's. This one is from Urban Outfitters off the clearance rack. I think a headband completely pulls your ponytail together and it makes you look like you spent so much more time on it. It just makes you look really cute and effortless. So now on to my outfit. So whenever I travel, I try to be as comfortable as possible because the long ride is not very, very good if you are, you know, wearing three inch heels and, you know, looking crazy. So for this outfit, I chose this really adorable beaded top from Forever 21. It looks so classy, but then at the same time, it's really comfortable and it's even easy to sleep in, believe it or not. I'm wearing a pair of leggings from Victoria's Secret's workout collection. These leggings keep me so warm and they're so easy to move in. Then I'm just throwing on some Converse so I can walk easy and I'm also throwing on a scarf so I can bundle up in it if it gets cold. Onto my carry-on essentials. The first thing is my wallet. I have to have my money with me and my cards and my ID. Make sure not to lose those. Also have to have hand sanitizer so I don't get sick off of germs. My sunglasses, pretty self-explanatory. 
I like to always have with me rubber bands so I could put my hair up. Also deodorant, if you guys sweat in like cramped up places when you're between people, always good to have that. Don't forget to bring your charger for your phone, laptop, anything you guys have. I also love having cleansing wipes with me so I could wipe down my face whenever I feel icky. Obviously I have to have my camera. I also like to bring a pen and paper just in case my electronics die. I can always draw. Have to have my headphones so these are my Beats by Dre. Reading magazines is also a really great thing to do. If you guys have a tablet or an iPad, that's always great to bring. Also having water is really important so you guys can always have something on hand to drink. I like to carry my makeup bag with me so that my makeup doesn't smash and crack in my normal bag. Also gotta bring my laptop and once I'm all packed up with my bag, I can take it out to the living room and get ready to go. Yeah. So a little tip that my mom actually gave me while I was filming this video is to make your bag noticeable, especially if your bag is black. You don't want somebody accidentally taking yours off the conveyor belt, so making sure your bag is noticeable by tying a ribbon on it or putting some duct tape around the handle, it's just going to make your bag that much more cuter and noticeable. Once all my bags are set, I think I'm ready to head off to the airport. Let's go! So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on traveling and if you guys are traveling anywhere for spring break or wherever you guys are going, leave that in the comments down below where you guys are going because I'd love to know. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up because giving videos thumbs up is good for your cholesterol. Yeah, but give this video a thumbs up. It would be awesome if we could reach this video to 20,000 likes. So let's try to go ahead and do that. I'll be Instagramming a ton of photos while I'm in Europe. So be sure to follow me on Instagram. It's at mylifeasava with an underscore. And I feel like I've been getting pretty good at Instagram lately. If I do say so myself. If I do say so myself. Isn't that like a Jay-Z song or something? If I do say so myself. Be sure to follow me on Instagram for all of my Europe photos. I love you guys. And I will see you guys later. Bye. I do say so myself. Give me like a rock, rock, rock.